hello traders it's Samurai Trader here welcome to this recording in today's recording I'm going to be covering day trading the CL futures contract the black gold I've done a number of recordings on this over the last few weeks the interest level from our members trading oil has gone through the roof and in fact we've now had uh, two or three professional oil traders have joined us so it's put really more emphasis that we spend a little more time or I spend a little more time for our members just on doing some trade recaps now as I say here also this market is not for the faint-hearted that is it can move very very quickly and so I'm going to be giving you some examples of that as we go through this uh, short recording as always traders I'm required by the CFTC and NFA to put up the risk disclaimer here it is so uh, please feel free to uh, if you haven't watched one of my recordings please read this uh, entire statement I won't read it out we'll be here for the next um, half an hour now uh, let's uh, go to the next slide so let's get this right a little disorganized here okay uh, I don't want to turn this into a great advertisement because I really want to get into the meat of things today if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do visit my website to obtain my uh, free ebook the truth about day trading even more important everything I cover in today's uh, recording is all in the day traders fast track program including my indicators the trade station need to trade a 7 mt4 or think or swim so let's get straight into this so I'm going to be looking at some charts or showing you some charts of the 144 tick with an anchor chart approximately three times higher and yes these are fib numbers of 377 tick now the 144 is very fast okay it's really as I mentioned earlier not for the faint-hearted it's really for the true scalpers so you might want to drop down to say a 233 uh, with uh, maybe a, a anchor chart of 610 tick and the day trading margin if you wish to have a lower margin is only 50% so as an example at TradeStation uh, where I hold my account I think the uh, for the top of my head you require per contract approximately uh, 3,200 three and a half thousand somewhere in that vicinity uh, which means technically uh, you could trade two contracts with the uh, initial margin uh, however remember the risk you never ever want to risk any more than two percent of your account on any one trade you need to consider that when you're considering your stops now if you're going to trade the after hours market the globex session there are some great opportunities here for an example during the London session you'll see some fantastic trading and even during the Asian session there's some nice trading I really like the 55 tick uh, or the uh, 89 tick particularly the 89 if it's a little too slow or you want a bit more action you'll drop down to 55 with a 233 tick as your anchor chart but please remember there are no day trading margins when trading the globex market which means you'll need to put up your, your full 3200 three and a half thousand per contract you're trading just just please keep that in mind now the next thing is when we look at the 144 what sort of targets should we have well one of our pro traders um, out of Canada his stop is five ticks and his target is four ticks and so is one of his colleagues so this truly scalping the market now what you will notice is after a pullback usually with the CL it moves very fast and you'll get a real um, quite often a real push through uh, some really good follow-through so it's a great market as far as when it moves it moves so you ideally want to be going for a minimum of one to one but it really depends on how late you are in getting into the trade because quite often it fires off that quickly uh, that it really moves and you, you're going to be in two or three sometimes four ticks late so that is where you really need to consider the size stop and that's where you may choose uh, to have a fixed stop of five or six ticks uh, as a minimum but fix it in fast moving markets now this is uh, something to remember also that the faster the market is moving the more windows and indicators you've got open on your PC the slower your trade execution will be please keep that in mind and in fact on TradeStation I can actually go and check uh, um, the usage my CPA 
CPU usage uh, on my indicators and some of them really draw some power so you need to consider that if you've got lots of windows open unless you've got a really nice PC running there so just keep that in mind please now I just paused uh, the recording because I remembered uh, why I put that up to mention it about the uh, your windows open and I just remembered that uh, John Y one of our CL traders uh, had emailed me this and that's where it made me think to you I must uh, mention about the amount of windows open and uh, uh, and this is uh, an email that he sent to me uh, last Thursday he mentioned that he had an order open forgot about the news announcement and the market took off that quickly the CPU on the computer was overloaded and he didn't respond on the order he had when he finally got out he was up almost five thousand uh, dollars on the contracts he was trading so as he said wow man that was a shocker it could have gone the other way too so that is something to remember when trading around red flags to make sure that you're out of the market but it's also an example of what can happen when um, I call it um, the PC becoming choked with the amount of data because it's got that much data from the news announcement going in and feeding it it becomes what I call choked so it's a real issue and something to consider so just that I'll put that up so he says that it was it's something funny but of course it wouldn't have been funny if it went the other way and I remember going back uh, about 10 12 years ago I had a trade set up ready to go I came back and for some reason the trade it executed now fortunately it also was in the green could have gone in the red it was up and, st and stopped out for a profit and the only explanation I can give is at the time I had a cat and uh, I'd leave the door open and quite often the cat would come in and sit on my lap as I was trading so I suspect the cats jumped up and either clicked on the mouse excuse the pun <laughs> and uh, set the trade off true story and um, it just reminded me of this one with John so anyway let's go directly to the charts now the first thing traders I want to quickly talk about is you hear me talking about the t9 setup now uh, a couple of you uh, heard me call it an ABC pattern a couple of days ago uh, so there's your point a B C a B C and a couple of our members are real technicians when it comes to chart patterns and they said that's correct it depends on which technician you speak to or how deep the ABC pattern has to be but yes you can definitely classify it as a ABC pattern now I call it the T9 just uh, because it's very closely related members to a T10 for an example you can see here we've got a T10 set up right there but it's when I get the paint bar okay so you can see the paint bar our super scalper is plotted for me it's very visual and it just makes it a really easy reminder because I have uh, the alert on now uh, just for me to say this I'm not trading the 144 remember I'm trading the 550 and the 1000 ES when this is trading so on the 89 I've got the alarm on I'm not physically trading the 144 and so just thought I'd just mention that but here you can see here you've got a high low thank you very much a high low now uh, going on Friday's action I did a quick count there were 13 or 14 of these setups on Friday and uh, there was 11 winners now on this day there was uh, one two uh, let me just quickly and excuse my voice I'm doing it it's getting out of a cold here three let's have a quick look here uh, double one of four <clears throat> that's getting a little too far away but if you want to classify it but let's just keep it at four um, where are we here five six seven okay so this is uh, a couple of days beforehand uh, eight that's a double bottom so on that day there was actually eight uh, that we quickly counted t9s and I think every one of them um, uh, was a winner so uh, the ABC patterns in, in picking your turning points it's nothing more than a lower high or a higher low after a good run so something to really consider and so members I'll because this is a public video I might spend some more time on this in a members only video so let's now get 
back to the chart and a couple of things I want to show you here and uh, let me just scroll over here so I can do this where are we just get this over here now in this particular case I've got the anchor chart open just as a visual uh, guide I'm recommending uh, members that uh, all newer members or all newer traders have an anchor chart open I usually don't have it open I'm usually looking at my uh, my 200 and my 89 and basically everything here is what I need however it is a great guide particularly for new traders it will keep you out of uh, a number of losing trades so I really recommend you consider having this open so as a reminder this is a 144 this is a 377 if that is too fast go to your 233 and your six whatever it was um, six <laughs> I can't remember the fib number but it's on the slide uh, earlier now what I did want to show you is these levels now remember the levels I spoke in the video about last week your dollar level so on the 49 your 30 cent level 70 and then a dollar again so even though it's in a pivot level you can see it actually is an unofficial pivot level where the price action trades down to and what you can see over here on the anchor chart not only have you got a t3 set up but you've got a t3 on your uh, entry t3 on your anchor and a pivot bounce uh, at the same time at the $49 a barrel so when you get a pivot bounce in these t3s it works an absolute treat so moving right along here let's just have a look at some of the other trades we had here you can see your price has really come for a nice run over on your anchor chart you can see price is clearly gapped away from your race and as much as that doesn't look like much of a move here on the anchor chart over here you had your t1 plot and that was a nice scalp for you could have easily got six ticks out of that move before you had your 34b now remember traders your 34b on your entry chart is going to be a what a 21b on your anchor chart as we've got over here and let me just put the pointer back on where are you start up again so I can easily point this out so there it is there you got your 34b and you've got a 21b now scrolling along I've got some comments here further along I wanted to make remember traders what you want to be doing is following the gold what is our 34 doing okay on your entry chart and on your anchor chart so we'll look down here we've got a 200 bounce it didn't go too well here and let's just scroll along here whoops and we can see over here the 200 B on your anchor on your entry is what a 89 on your anchor chart entry anchor chart then you would have been stopped you could have scalped a very very quick if you had been able to get into this quick enough well actually I don't think you would have even got filled in time on this one but then you had a uh, another follow-through for then a, a true 200 bounce on your anchor so if you're this way inclined if you want to really and actually I shouldn't even say if you want to if you're a newer trader have your anchor chart be looking for your bounces at your key levels look at this one up here this up here by the way trade this is a 4950 uh, level up here so you can see here you've bounced off the uh, off your 289 you've come up nice trade bounced on your 89 and 200 gone up then and then bounced off the 50 cents level so scrolling along you've got um, price actions going up you've bounced again here we've got uh, an extended a larger what I call I call these a big picture ABC pattern because it's over a larger area a B C away we go come up bounce on the 34 you've got a 34 bounce also on your anchor chart moving along here is our bounce at the 4950 level and if you look over here on your anchor chart you can see here we've got a nice t9 why is it a t9 well you can see we've gapped away from the 8 on both charts I don't have divergence and traders please remember that if you get a pivot bounce and divergence uh, really they're very variable this sorry let me say that again very bankable trades so it's it's even nicer when you've got um, uh, uh, divergence here which we didn't have but still worked out mighty fine here is our t9 now for this one 
it's a harder one to distinguish for me it's easy because I've got the white paint bar okay so you can see here it's a lower high okay that still would have delivered very very nicely here we've got a nice t7 now here by the way what I haven't mentioned uh, what you can't see down here this is 7 a.m. in the morning Eastern Standard Time so the markets haven't even opened yet on the 144 you can see there this is uh, well this is nearly 30 minutes of price action so you've still got plenty of time to be scalping the market it's making some nice trades but if you're following the t1 okay t1 okay now remember where does your stop ideally go with your t1 two two ticks above your closest swing high yes that ticked up one tick above two ticks I find really works well so there you would have been still in a trade very nice you've got a scalp you got another one now what you're doing of course is looking over at your chart on your anchor chart and looking at what is the gold doing the 34 ma it's trending down this yes we're in a little bit of sideways action here but what I can see on the anchor is the 34 is trending down I recommend also that in times when the markets not going crazy if you do use indicators uh, that particularly you're looking for divert just mark it up it just may assist in your decision making process for an example here we are at the 4930 level we've got a nice t7 a double bottom and we've got divergence so you've got support on the pivot a double bottom and divergence over here we've got a double top we look over on our anchor chart we've got a little double top here my 34 is heading down I have divergence I also have what appears to be a t10 virtually look at my long-term stokes heading down okay these all add up to a very very nice trade we move along a t9 now for my friends that are scalping the CL we can see here that when you get these moves notice if you get a move it pushes through okay look at your t1 moves okay you come up your two tick stop held you there you wouldn't have got your five or six ticks till down here okay you picked it up there you picked it up here or if you were um, jumping in on this t1 you weren't on, on the t9 you weren't in till there now that would have only achieved you five or six four or five ticks let's say now here you can see there were two danger signs things to be very careful of and I think I've got a note along further along to be careful of what is it you within one tick of a pivot your 4930 level and where's a logical bounce area your 89 EMA which is exactly what it did now this is where if you want to stay on a safer side stick with the trend trades now if you look over on the anchor chart what have I got happening over here well you can see here that everything's pointing down so we want to be short now by the way uh, day before I think it was Thursday and I haven't done the stats for uh, Friday and um, I'm actually hiring an office assistant to start doing accurate stats for the sake of my members and to put on the website so members you'll be happy about this we're going to what we're going to be doing is this is uh, one of my moderators in training uh, I want him to gain some more experience and what he's going to do is going to go back on ES CL NQ and Euro stock X 50 and we're going to um, do daily stats on our key setups so if you've got stats what it does it greatly assists you if you know what your probabilities are it gives you the confidence good because remember traders we don't want to be, we don't want to be thinking about one trade we want to be looking at what is this average over 100 200 trades and if you've got the stats here it makes it a lot, lot easier so I did a uh, just a quick tally before going for five ticks uh, and anything less than five ticks I classified as a loser there were 24 during this is from uh, just during the 6 a.m. till 11:30 a.m. okay so this is let me just say that again uh, this is on CL this was uh, Eastern Standard Time over five and a half hours there were uh, I think a quick count was 24 t1 trades okay t1 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 24 of those and uh, there were seven less than uh, five ticks 
so let's just say they were losers and there were 24 that netted five ticks or better start doing those sorts of figures traders you, and you can see trading with the trend and that didn't include the t9s now on that day I think I might have mentioned there were 13 or 14 with I think 11 winners on the t9s okay those stats stack up really well now this is Friday's action now remember on a Friday of course traders uh, the market can go all over the place so 4930 again within one tick nice t7 now what have we also got there we've got a 200 B now remember the rules on a 200 B look the 200 B can be a very subjective it's got a lower win rate than say a 34 B or an 89 B but when you've got a double top or a double bottom a t7 against your 200 it greatly improves your trade stats but what else have you got here not only have you got a double top with a trend I've got divergence as well okay so I've got a double top I've got um, uh, on my anchor chart here we're in a downtrend I have divergence what does that do to the statistics of your trade it puts it right up now here this is not tradable uh, what I recommend you doing doing your own back testing always look at your time stamp down the bottom okay um, it was nothing like doing it of course uh, live to really be marking this up but if you're going back over the charts uh, just go make sure you're looking at your timestamps at the bottom like this was uh, this one right there that was um, 8.54.07 uh, and here that was um, 8.54.32 so you can see the markets really running at that stage there all right so that was very very fast you and that's why I didn't even put a, a mark here on this t1 uh, because it really took off and that's five seconds second action so here I personally are very very cautious around fast moving markets uh, I'm happy to pick up one or two ticks of slippage but over that um, it's just not me because I'm a one-to-one -one scalper so we come in up here if you miss that one you've got a high low a B C pattern you've got another pivot bounce here but what you can see happening here is on your anchor chart what's happened your 8 EMA is crossed through your 21 it's now heading above the 34 my 34 is changing direction this is an area to be very very cautious of follow the gold okay follow the trend so you're following the trend here and up you go now what about this one here for my members we don't have true divergence here it's really a double top um, on the platinum but what I do have is a t9 there and here so it was still a good six potential six tick potential scalp remember I recommend uh, you only start taking counter trend trades when you're consistently profitable as a trend trader so we come down here what are we on again remember uh, it's not saying what <laughs> let's just call it purple um, uh, we can see here uh, the, the purple 200 and we can see here we've got uh, there a nice double bottom again and what did I say about the double bottoms on your 200 they're very tradable okay you get those and away it goes again we got a 34 B with the trend up it goes what's happening on the anchor chart where's the gold heading up I'm looking for long trades we're now at um, 410 sorry 910 a.m. Uh, and off we go now of course here for my members you can see you've got t2s firing off left right and center now one thing to remember traders is this the further you are out on your anchor chart of the 8 EMA please remember you're more likely to get a pullback so just be cautious of that so we're heading up it's now 916 let me just quickly tick up here here is another t9 trade signaling a change in direction it's also a t10 you can see there and down we go you've got a pivot bounce you've got basically a t2 there we look over onto our anchor chart over here we can see our weight setting down we've got a, uh, a t9 sorry <laughs> let me just get this right a t1 t1 then we get a bounce on the 89 let me just scroll along one other comments okay and you can see here 
this is where I mark this up as a t9 again and here is why notice here I've come right up I've had a pivot bounce then I've got a B C a bounce on the 89 and a short signal now it doesn't matter what markets you're trading you're going to see these patterns appear in every market in virtually every time frame remember the lower the time frame the more noise you're going to have on your charts which means the more false signals what will greatly improve your uh, win loss ratios is of course if you're trading with the trend and not taking these counter trend trades remember you always get hurt trying to catch a falling knife so trying to jump in on these counter trend trades you'll see a lot of them but it's a much higher risk scenario now this is a scenario here where we had a t9 and your entry of course would have been up here you write on your 34 it come down and tested and formed a little double bottom where would have my stop been now I mentioned earlier that I'd be recommending a five minimum of five to six tick stop I really like putting my stop two ticks below a swing low now with the speed of a market on CL particularly at 144 it's very very hard to use limit orders okay you're going to be using a market moving that quickly unless you're able to place um, of course uh, an order in the market well in advance but if you're scalping like this you're going to be going for limit order so there if you executed you may end up there with a 10 tick stop if you went two ticks below so that may have very well been a loss because it come down and tested you and that's just something you you've got to really think about now on the other hand trading with the trend that is if you jump in a river you want to save yourself do you try swimming upstream or do you go with the current well of course unless you're on Niagara Falls perhaps you're going to swing swim, um, uh, swim upstream but generally speaking you want to be going with the current we can see down here and if you had have gone with the current uh, here you would have been stopped on this trade going with this and uh, this is the other thing to consider let me just move back here just want to point this out when you get these moves you want to be looking at angulation these are a much higher risk remember be very cautious when you're trading after a t3 now as a reminder a t3 is when price action is moving right away from your 89 from your sorry eight let me get this right as I always say traders these recordings are always unscripted so <laughs> look at this gap in a way now you can see you want to be careful on these because quite often these are an exhort and what they do they fling back as you can see what's happened here and remember when I mentioned earlier the further you move away from the 8 EMA particularly on the anchor chart the more likely you are to have a decent pullback which is exactly notice price actions away what happens now this is why I get back to what is a safer bet trading with the trend trading your pullbacks with the trend so we've pulled back here what have we got here we've got a nice 289 B which is the same basically on our anchor chart thank you very much no divergence but there is something else we've got there at the 50 cent level you've got a price point price point bounce and an 89b and the same thing over on the anchor chart thank you very much moving right along we're now at the 4930 level what's happened here prices come down we're bounced on that level we have a t3 no divergence so I'm really separating uh, and this is for members where I members you'll be familiar with the strategy 80, alert 89 well, there's an alert there now on the oil <laughs> on my 89 chart for a short signal anyway uh, traders you'll hear me talk about the um, uh, t89 now the t89 is when of course we're our entry level is well out of the 21 EMA channel well this and ideally with divergence well here we're, we're well out of a channel for an entry but I've got no divergence so and I'm just looking at this gapping away on both look at the gapping away here on the 8 and the 8 here and it's a pivot bounce okay away we go again we're coming up here what's happening to price action we follow the gold and the simple rule trade is just to remember when the 8 is above the gold 
you follow the gold when the 8 is below the gold you follow the gold just remember that here we've got another nice bounce and we went finally went through the pivot remember the rule when you test it once or twice quite often you're going to punch through unless of course you form a double top or a double bottom we've come up here is a another t9 I would suggest there you would have lost money on that one uh, up here what time we are now we're still only at 10 06 a.m. how many trades have we had now this is Friday's action remember now just want to check something here now I feel a bit of a total goose traders so I just thought gee I'm pretty positive I, I put on the screen a lot more commentary uh, this was last Thursday's action I was just showing you and um, uh, I marked I remember going through a marking up Friday's price action wanting to talk about trading on Fridays but um, I was actually showing you the day before so um, excuse me for that so what I've done I've gone ahead to Friday's but the point I was going to make there when I was looking at it was this how many trades do we have following the goal with the t1s particularly now members you may have noticed I wasn't referring to any t2s only purely where we had the paint bar so I just wanted to point that out you could be uh, scalping your little heart out uh, following a trend very very nicely as John and a lot of the other uh, CL traders do and remembering uh, typically we're seeing five six hundred thousand contracts trade a day on CL so you've got some incredible uh, volume going through greater than uh, generally speaking uh, uh, NQ far greater than the NQ or even uh, naturally the YM so <laughs> let me go back to uh, where I should have been earlier well hopefully this is educational for you anyway uh, this is last Friday we're looking here at about uh, 8 19 a.m. and we can see we had a nice t7 okay very nice so we had a 200 bounce and let's go and have a look at our anchor chart so what's our anchor chart telling us traders okay what's everything looking at downtrend so what am I looking for I'm looking for the short side only unless I get some mean reversion trades that is our t3s and look for these extremes okay we've got one right there and so we've come down of course we've got a, a very very nice bounce up here for a 200 B trend trade trend trade and moving right along on Friday's action <laughs> okay you've got basically a t9 uh, you could have argued this was a, a t9 there I just marked this up question mark but you've got a nice little double top there and if I remember correctly you would have let's just have a quick look at that that had a high of 34 high 35 once again the two tick rule remember traders I said I like to have my stop two ticks above that kept you in that nice little double top then you come back and you had a coming back over here you've got a 200 B if you have a 200 B on the 144 what does it mean on your anchor chart an 89 B so I know some of our traders now are considering only trading multiple EMA bounces and so we can see we've got a, a very very nice one there you have virtually got one there you had one here I already know that so uh, all nice winning trades uh, scrolling right along here and this is where trading ramp so this is one of our floor pivots and traders this is where you want to really be cautious and these are the areas where I also get chopped up and I'm very very cautious sometimes and this is where it, at times it is hit and miss you you'll punch straight through you want to make sure that your entry you've got room for profit or at least be ready to pull your stops in very very quickly you can see you've come down trading around pivots it's a danger zone so you know with a short term CL with a shorter term chart you can afford just to give when you're at these pivot areas wait for a pullback or a punch through and then a retracement and going with the trend and always remember to be checking where is your next pivot level so we can see here going down we had a, another uh, nice t9 it was good for a scalp another nice t9 remembering a b c forward a b oops sorry a b c up okay little triple top actually there with the trend with divergence okay so I've got divergence on the pivot I've tested a number of times we've punched through moving right along here we can see here when you get divergence so we can see we've come up 
we've had a, uh, a little pivot bounce here if we look at the anchor chart over here you can see you've come up you've hit your pivot here nothing in that one your higher probability trades always when you've got a higher high lower low what I've got I've got a genuine divergence trade so that's what that means wait for divergence high probability probability and away you go uh, here is a t9 you can see my paint bar a B C and we scroll on and by the way it's only 953 another paint bar we've got also here this is an interesting trade let me just uh, bring this up over here we've got here a t3 this is also a t89 because I had divergence so I've got a t3 here on my entry chart t3 on my anchor chart and I've and it's really a 200 B and I've got divergence what does that mean a, a great increase in probability now getting back to our trend trades trend trade trading with the trend t10 with the trend t2 with the trend and it's 834 we can see up the top here now uh, we've getting a uh, we're getting divergence here and of course I've got a t1 plot here and I've written down typed in low probability trade don't trade against divergence to sit it out traders and you can see here these are very low probability when you've got divergence and trying to trade with the trend a lot of these will fail now there's another reason on this one where is it that we mark that up okay and we're right at the pivot level uh, it's better just to give these then you end up sorry with a t7 okay you've got t20 up there which I hadn't really been talking about here you can see here more trend trades following the gold remember traders now down here what have I got we've come down here I've got a 200 bounce here is this double bottom again on the 200 remember we talk about these for t7 or for 200 with divergence divergence with my longer term trend thank you here we've got t2s t25s firing off left right and center now we're still only at 1107 here I've written up here you've got a pivot bounce right there let me just scroll along here so we had a massive t3 on our anchor chart bounced at the 4970 level okay and a pivot bounce very very bankable uh, we've got down here what about this t3 okay if on the anchor chart check this out now what I want to remind you of is where you get these t3s t3 trades are generally will generally signify a, a good change in trend direction right so you can go for a higher risk level or a high return rate a two to one or more keep your stats on these traders that's all I'd recommend you have a look at those so here this one would have failed and the reason would have failed is you've gone through and if you look at this here it looks you've got a, a bounce on the 200 which looks like a winner to us here uh, but then of course we went up we bounced off for 20 and we've come down now we've got divergence and away we go always check your anchor chart here we've got um, uh, a t9 here now we've got here two tick holds uh, but what about market orders okay now this is <laughs> this is uh, what I mentioned earlier I knew I'd type some more comments in here when you've got market orders remember um, you're going to on fast markets get two three four tick slippage that is the unfortunate part with market orders on CL so that could mean you could end up with a 12 tick stop something you need to consider so some of these trades you may be stopped on something you need to think about but when you see all of these EMAs converging this is a danger zone it doesn't matter what market if you're trading stocks it doesn't matter what you're trading you want to see your EMAs fanning okay like here they're all fanning these are starting these are fanning out they're separating what you don't want to do and Bill Williams talks about this even though this isn't the uh, his what he called his alligator EMAs similar concept where the mouth of the gator is closed here you want to see the mouth of the gator opening this is where the profit is made okay so you want to be very cautious uh, wait for the sweet spots wait to start to see like here's a t9 here wait for your t9 
wait for the separation then you get these beautiful moves now here it's uh, 1130 in the morning Friday now remember how many traders now considering time of day and it's Friday which means a lot of traders now are going to be giving stopping trading for the day and this is the big thing that's asked continually what do we do uh, on Fridays or during lunch times well I'm recording for our members uh, another one just on time of day trades but something to consider there is sitting out but you know <laughs> quite often during lunch times you'll see some great trade so you know it's it's the jury's out but just why I'm on that the the I believe the great trading times on CL is between 6 a.m. and 11:30 a.m. Uh, in my opinion that's where you get your best trends and the last hour hour and a half of the trading day so that is from 6 a.m. to 11:30 a.m. and the last hour hour and a half in my opinion are really good okay uh, look I'm going to sign off on this because we're, we're uh, getting to you this is already 40 minutes but traders when we're in this um, area here of consolidation once again look over on the anchor chart you can see it there too what do we do well we've got a good idea we're in a downtrend so ideally you want to be waiting for your 8 EMA and you can see the 8 is above our 34 remember we want to see the 8 under the 34 so when we see that it's a it's a good indication that we're heading back in a downtrend but this is where using fractals comes into it you can see the black dots here fractals so you extend a line from the little black dots across to the right and your entry level wants to be one tick below so your entry could have been on that candle here to go short so in consolidation and this of course is spoken a lot about um, by Bill Williams in trading chaos his book trading chaos uh, and uh, um, tr new trading dimensions he talks a lot about trading fractals and using the gator well our uh, EMAs are different than the gator but it can be very good for as far as you know pinpointing your breakout and in fact for my members please go to my the, the Google Drive and one of our members and sorry I've forgotten your name but I just can't think uh, right now Michael that's it uh, Michael uh, sent me a nice little uh, rundown and some of our other members thank you very much have done sent me in their trading rules as well and in trading this breakout and uh, he's trading three contracts on the NQ averaging about 800 a day and he's waiting for areas of consolidation a breakout of a fractal uh, then using the 8 under the 34 and it trade it's working very very well I'm sorry for my members I've just posted Michael's uh, email in on my Google Drive so you can go and download that and have a look at that okay t9 t9 uh, and the comment as we sign off very important thing traders where is that gone let me just get back to that is this is where low probability trading against a t3 remember you want to wait when you get a t3 uh, or even divergence trades you'll get um, entries just after these are very low probability trades why you've just had divergence which generally means what a change in trend so be careful in taking a trade directly after these you're better off waiting for a decent pullback here you can see here you know had an 89b what have you got on your anchor chart a 34b so uh, traders I've covered a, a great deal uh, in this little presentation for anyone that hasn't subscri subscribed to my channel please do visit my website even better still become a lifetime member $197 uh, if that includes the indicators um, and uh, there's now in that total course there's over 200 videos now uh, training videos live trading uh, training sessions uh, in the program uh, cheat sheets for my main setup so traders thank you very much for watching uh, members I'm about to go and do a members Q&A straight after this so if you're watching this on general um, on general uh, YouTube uh, go and visit the members area because I'm also about to record my latest Q&A session thank you traders